Hey guys, Dania here with the Valari Realty Group. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. We are real estate professionals in the North County, San Diego area, and we're always happy to help and be a resource to you. So our contact info is below. Feel free to call, email, text, whatever works best for you. In today's video, I wanted to cover a few things that you need to know before moving to Oceanside, California. Now I know moving can be a tough process at times, especially when moving to a new city, and there's a lot of thought that goes into it. So I think it's important for you to know these few tips and that way you'll have a little bit more knowledge on Oceanside. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is restaurants and food in Oceanside, kind of spread all over Oceanside and even North County as a whole. You're gonna find a lot of little hole in the wall restaurants with amazing authentic food and great atmosphere. There's plenty of variety. You're gonna find Korean barbecue, Mediterranean, Mexican food, Indian cuisine. You're gonna find a lot of great cultured food in Oceanside. And oftentimes the hole in the wall places do have the best food. One of the things that my husband and I personally look for, like in the past, every time we've moved, we look at the local food scene in our local area because we are pretty big foodies. So we love authentic cuisine and we love going out and finding great food. So if that's something that's important to you, I would encourage you to kind of look outside of your neighborhood and see what is in your surrounding areas. Those will probably be your stomping ground. So I think it's important to kind of look around and see what's available. But in Oceanside, you won't be disappointed. There's definitely a lot of variety and a lot of amazing food. The second thing I want to talk about is being able to take your family out and about. Oceanside is fantastic for families. There's plenty of parks and places to take your kids to, parks with play sets and things like that so that you can hang outside with your family any day of the week. And there's plenty of beautiful places such as walking parks parks and things to kind of spend time outdoors as well. The pier downtown in Oceanside has been completely redone and revamped, so there's great areas to hang out down there as well. For example, every Thursday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., there is the Oceanside Market, and what's really cool about this Oceanside Market is that they bring in local foods from the local farms in Oceanside, so the food that is featured at the farmer's market is from local farms. North County as a whole does have a lot of farmland still, and so that's where the local foods and vegetables are sourced. So I think it's pretty cool that you can go to your local farmer's market every week and support local farms. So there's also a mural walk downtown in Oceanside where there's artists that have painted these walls of these buildings and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's fun to walk around in and just kind of observe the art and appreciate it. The kids find it fun as well because very colorful, very fun, and but overall, great family vibes in Oceanside, no lack of outdoor fun things to do with the family. And so I think that's important to know for the people out there that do have families or that enjoy spending time outdoors. Now the third thing I wanna talk about is the military activity and noise from Camp Pendleton in North Oceanside. Now the training is typically done weekly and you will absolutely hear it, especially in North Oceanside. Now if you live in San Luis Rey or just in North Oceanside as a whole in the area, you might even feel it in your house. You feel a little bit of vibration. Now there's nothing to be alarmed about, but if you do have pets that are a little skittish with noise and things like that, that might not be the best fit for you. I think that if you're looking to move to a specific area in Oceanside and you're unsure if you will be hearing or feeling that activity and that noise, I would recommend going over to certain areas of Oceanside and just spending some time here and there to experience exactly how that noise and that activity feels or sounds from a certain area. Now the fourth thing I wanna talk about is the new builds happening in Oceanside. So in this market is a highly competitive market, but there is plenty of new builds happening in Oceanside. East of the Oceanside Airport, we have Ocean Camp that is said to be coming up in a few years. That is something to look forward to. They will have townhomes and condos for sale there as well. Um, we do have a separate video on Ocean Camp, so I will link it up here somewhere. There are plenty of townhome development projects happening in Oceanside, as well as single family home development projects as well. So if you're interested in a list of the new builds coming to Oceanside, shoot us an email. We'd be happy to help you out with that. But all in all, the new builds happening in Oceanside are gonna bring value and housing to the area, which is great. And it's also gonna help the style of living in Oceanside as a whole. Now number five, which is the last but the most important in my opinion when it comes to living in Oceanside is the access to the freeways. Now, if you commute to Orange County, LA or San Diego or any other city, you're gonna have really good access 
access if you're living in Oceanside. So I'm gonna switch over to my screen and you guys can kind of have a look at that. So if you look at a map, you're gonna see that Oceanside is a great spot and here is why. So if you're looking at a map of Oceanside, this is Oceanside up here. We have San Diego down here. Now what's great about the location of Oceanside is that running north and south, you have the five freeway, which runs directly through Oceanside and up and down the coast. So you can take this all the way down to San Diego. And if you're going up north, you can take that up as well into Santa Ana and further up as well. So it keeps going up. And then if you go to the east of Oceanside, you have the 15. So if you're looking to go north or south, the five and the 15 are gonna be your go-tos, which is great because if you're in Oceanside, you can hop on the 78 or the 76 up here and make your way over to the 15. So you got great access to the five, the 76 and the 78. So Oceanside is a great location to be. If you're commuting or depending on where you're going, you're gonna be able to hop on those freeways a lot quicker from Oceanside. So those are my five tips on moving to Oceanside. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out or comment below. Again, our contact info is here. We're always happy to help. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more real estate content and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.